Hello, Cancer, and welcome. Thank you all for tuning in. Happy Easter to all of you. And I wanted to come into this energy and saying um, to those of you who celebrate Easter, this is a whole new beginning here for you, Cancer. So this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This April energy is sweet, Cancer. It's sweet. And for some of you, there's somebody here that showed up unexpected. And I have a song for you. And this is somebody from your past, past, for some of you here. Not recent past, past, past. And the song I heard was by the group called Chicago. And it's called If You Leave Me Now. So somebody here feels they can't even walk away from you. It's like there's an energy here of where you just are in the friend zone right now for some of you here but there's love here this person is unconditionally 100 percent totally mad crazy love with you cancer sun moon rising and venus and for some of you yes this is a new love offer ace of cups so it's at the bottom of the deck i want to shuffle the cards here with you okay call upon uh, the Holy Spirit. They call upon the divine light. They call upon my angels and my guides. I, 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 I waited. I just, I wanted to, I was told to, I'm going to follow the vibe. Go with the flow in April here. This is leading to long-term commitment. Cancerian, this is somebody here who truly loves you. They want partnership with you. There's an energy here of traditional love. It's like, it's such a lovey, dovey vibe, Cancer. So hang on, because we will be in a trine with the North Node in, Can in Gemini of the moon. Saturn is going to be in Aquarius, and the way forward is new and explosive, okay? With all the Aries energy here, but the helpful trying, it's also harmonizing. The air is being cleared. Ah, the air is being cleared. And guess what I kept on hearing while I was meditating? Clear the air, clear the air. I kept on hearing, clear the air. Oh, and Cancer, the people that are just so jealous of you, Cancer. Let them be jealous, Cancer. Don't let it go in one ear and out the other. This is the universe coming in and there's a sudden a breakthrough for you, Cancer. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here. This is Mars and Scorpio. And this is Aries energy, just what I was talking about. Mars in Aries, you have liftoff. There's an energy here where you already were booted up. You're ready, Cancer, for this new beginning to take off all over. Like I said, it's explosive, that tower is explosive, <sighs> explosive. Two cup, sacred union, partnership. This is the love of your life. This is somebody here. It's like great love was worth taking the steps, Cancer, that you had to take here. Because there was an energy here where you two could have had a breakup in the past. There was, a, there was an energy here where something here fell down. It could have been an, a separation from this person for some of you here. The tower is good news. It's bringing in the energy where the air is being cleared now for you, Cancer. Like like I said, all those jealous people around you, karma's here. Karma's here. We got 10-year cycles here being washed out. So what I feel is bringing in a new perspective, clearing your path where you will be crystal clear, Cancer. You already know who this is. Take off, Aries season for you, my loves. Yes, this reading is for April, 2021. I'm too excited. I have cancer in my chart. So for many of you, this could be your ascendant sign. For many of you, it could be your moon sign. And let's see where we're at. You've been in stagnation with this person. There was something here about being in limbo. For some of you, this could be a Pisces energy here. Like I feel here. It's the air is being cleared, bringing in you a new perspective, a higher perspective that you're gaining here, which gives you the wings for liftoff to fly. Um, Mars is going to be squaring Neptune on April 9th. It's going to be 
forward momentum comes up against the delusions of the past. It is a time to break the spell and step through to a new and better reality. Let's go. So this is something here, like I felt a new perspective. There was an energy here with the moon card, which is you, my loves. This is letting me know you're trusting your intuition. It's like an energy here of somebody here could have been with you in the past here where there was a decision here where I feel there was no communication. I feel this is something, yes, 10 of wands. This is the energy of what was going on. It's time to put down those burdens. It's time to put down all the hard work cancer that you had done. You achieved something here by yourself. That's that 10 years I was talking about. So for some of you here, you've been very busy. You've been carrying everybody else's burdens and you have done nothing for yourself here. So for some of you here, you have a past here where the last 10 years here, you could have been in limbo. You were working on family situations, devoting all your time, Cancer, because you are the mother of the zodiac sign. This is who you are. It's like your family. You are the ones who are the most compassionate in, in, the, in the zodiac sign, the most loving here. So let's move these cards around. Yeah, see, no talking, no talking with this person. You've been in, in isolation, hermit card, okay? And there was a saying here, this person here, it's, I feel, ghosting each other. It's like anxiety between the relationship here. There was a lot of fear, okay? And in the past here, I feel this is the present. Ace of Wands, this could be the past, yeah. And I'm feeling right now you have the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning. You and this person, Cancer, has a very magnetic, passionate, hot and spicy connection here. There's an energy of you with this person. See, this person lights up your world, King of Pentacles. There's somebody here in the past that you were in a partnership for some of you here. There's an energy here. You could have been married. You could have been in a relationship with this person in the past. It was something here where this person just sparks you. This person's like, I hear sparky, sparky. Yeah, so let's see. One more card for the past, the immediate past. The world card, okay? There was a completion here that you're going through. Something very positive. It's also a card here with the world card is letting me know that you have just finished off a cycle. You're literally free to go, Cancer. It's like you have a whole new start that you have been, that you're in now because you're coming into the world card. And this is somebody here that you could be traveling because the world card means you could be moving right now, traveling, on the go. There's that fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Like I said, there was somebody that you were going round and round in a cycle. It was like this person kept you going back and forth. You were in it like a hamster wheel with this person. This was a very hot and heavy connection here, okay? With this Knight of Wands, there was a lot of adventure in the past with this person. There was an energy here of this person had a lot of lust. You took action with this person. You were very happy with this person is what I feel in the past. Let's see them in the past. And the past three of ones, there was an energy of them waiting in the past for you. They were waiting for you is what I felt, Cancer. It was like they had to turn their back on a situation, but they never let you out of their energy. Spiritually, mentally, they were still hanging on to you. There was an energy where this person had, they could have been at a physical distance. There could have been from this person. I feel that your person hadn't made, hadn't made up their mind. They were waiting for their ships to come in. You are their ship. You are their ship, Cancerian. There it goes. You are this person's wish fulfillment. Okay, they could be a Cancerian just like you. They could be somebody here who has fire in their chart, but there's that water sign. You were their wish fulfillment, this person that you have here in the past. Someone here that could be very single. And I feel that they were good on their own with you. There was, a, there was a relationship where I feel that you were single. It was like you were dating each other. You were in a relationship with this person. Somebody that kept coming back and forth. You could have been somebody here your person that was single for a while, yeah, and in the past there was a breakup. 
a tower moment. This could have been an ending of a connection where you were living with somebody and there was a home broken up here, but there was definitely an ending here, a breakup, and your person moved forward. They had to move on. They had to relocate. They had to leave their house. They had to grab their, their stuff. I feel they grabbed their keys, their boxes, their luggage, and they were out, okay? And they moved on and they were on their own is what I feel. They stood single. This is you, Aries. Ah, cancer, look at this energy. You're standing in, you're standing, you're sitting firm on that throne right now and you're ready to take action, Cancer. Aries energy. You could have a strong Aries placement. You could be somebody here who's a father figure, a masculine, or a mother figure. Like I said, Aries and Jupiter, Sagittarius. Oh, and did I forget to say all the success that you have coming to you in, in April? Get ready. Because when I did your, your reading and I was meditating, I kept on seeing jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. Great wealth. You invested in something here that's taking off. This is boots on the ground and take off. Get ready for expansion and growth, Cancer. Because whatever you're putting your mind to and your focus, you're determined. Sagittarius says, uh, you got Jupiter blessing you. Good luck, good fortune. This is a second chance for some of you. Somebody's coming around here. It's a second chance, destined event that's coming towards you in April is what I feel. You're someone here who could be a father figure and you're in a separation. You're single. If you're a mother, you're single. You were married before. You have children and the king of swords, okay? Like I said, now here we go. And this is the other energy. King of Swords is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Lovers. There it is. The North Node in Gemini of the Moon. There's a decision here. Okay. You've been apart from your person with the Lovers card. Deep love connection here. I feel a love triangle energy here. I'm feeling that right now the relationship is just coming into a union. And there's people that are jealous. So you have a father and a son figure, or take it how it resonates, a daughter and a mother figure, two people that are at each other. It's like clearing the air. Something here is getting cut out. There's a separation, a move out. There's an energy here of <clears throat> somebody here had a lot of big ego. It could have been Aries energy. Somebody here um, had the energy, and I kept feeling this. So for some of you on your family situations here, you have a situation here where you're telling it like it is. You're, you're, there's nothing that's getting past you here, Cancer. Like I said, there's somebody here jealous. We're gonna clarify. So you have an ex, okay? For some of you, it's an ex-husband or an ex-wife. Somebody here that was a snake pit. Somebody here that's coming in here with, to communicate with you in the month of April. And this could be somebody that you're separated from already. Let's see your person in their energy of now. Your person here is two of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's a decision of should I, should I not? It's like somebody here needs to gain balance in this situation. Your person could have choices. There could be choices. Now, there could be choices in love, but it could be also choices in a family situation because I see the five of wands here, okay? So your person could be going through a lot of conflict, a lot of tension. These people here around are very jealous. This is that jealous energy here. That's what I'm saying. These people are very, very jealous of you, Cancer, and your person. It's like you two people are rock stars. You're, you're like somebody here that's in the public eye. And you have haters around the two of you here. These people are snake pits, is what I feel. And I feel your person here has to make a decision because there's family disagreements that are taking place right now. There's a lot of trouble is what I feel in an energy here. Okay. And I feel you could be dealing with a Gemini here. Let's see one more. Yeah. Three of cups. There's a situation here that's taking place where there's, it's not a third party, but this third party is somebody here that still feels they got authority over you. This is somebody that still feels that, that you're their, their ex-wife, you're their ex-husband. This is someone that's very jealous of your happiness, Cancer. They don't like you being happy. 
you can't stand seeing, you'll be happy. Okay, is what I feel. Let me see what the near future is. Yeah, the near future is the Four of Pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of greed energy. It's like an energy of protecting yourself, self-protection. Somebody's holding back the way that they feel. So this could be you, Cancer. You're holding back your feelings. You're being greedy and selfish. You know, you're not telling, the, you're not letting, you're not coming into the situation. There's a situation of a lot of fire energy. I feel this is where you're going to clear the air. Something's getting cleared here. Because there was a lot of investment in this relationship is what I feel. Eight, eight of pentacles. Okay. There's something you've been working on also financially. And you're working on your finances, I feel, Cancer. I feel that you put your, you're putting your focus on your business. You're coming up as the emperor, okay? And with the Ten of Swords, you're recovering. There's something here you're recovering from, a 10-year cycle for some of you. This was, you got 10-10. Yep, you got 10-10. You're recovering from a very backstabbing betrayal ending here, where the worst is now behind you. I feel this is why you're you're not so open with your with your emotions right now. You're working on finances. I feel you don't want to mix the two together. Four of Swords. You've been going through a deep, deep healing, and you recovered. Four of Swords is letting me know you're taking rest. Rest is needed right now for you to make this decision. Oh, and by the way, this is the four four portal. Today's April fourth, Easter. So you got the four four here and this reading. You are going to have stability. There is a stable offer that's coming in here is what I feel. I feel right now is a good time to just rest, recuperate, rejuvenate. Because you're about to have um, a whole new beginning here. And this is long term. So there's an energy of, let's see a person coming towards you. There's a balancing of situations. Now this is a lot of people that are in your life, Cancer. You may be alone working on business, but here comes the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and here comes that fire energy. And this person can't take their eyes off of you. And now the Queen of Swords. There's the divorced um, ex that you have. This is an ex partner that you have. There's somebody here that's rushing in towards you here with communication. This person here with the Knight of Swords is bringing in drama, reckless energy. Someone rushing in here that loves trouble. This person loves to gossip and trouble. Okay, Knight of Swords. In the near future, there's two people here. There's a there's a man, a male, a fire sign male, and a Queen of Swords. Somebody's getting cut off. Somebody's getting cut off. Mm -hmm. Definitely, so that a new beginning can come in. So what I feel is cancer. You could have air in your chart. If this is you, there's a conversation that's coming in. Like I ha we heard, clear the air, clear the air. You're clearing the air. This is a partner that you were married to. Somebody here that you got a divorce from. And this is somebody else. There's an energy here of somebody in your family situation is getting thrown out. There's a huge argument is what I feel. This is like... World War III, two people turning their backs. Queen of Swords is the energy here of somebody here is telling it like it is and they're turning their back on a situation here with this King of Wands energy, okay? And somebody here is moving on. I feel that there's an energy here of having to take a new movement, movement, a shift is coming, okay? So now let's clarify what we have here, Cancer. Ten of Wands. Yeah. There's a lot of endings. For you, my loves. For you. It's all about working together on a partnership. This is coming together where things will start to take shape also in your finances. This is an energy of wealth, success, collaboration. Three of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. It's an energy of cancer. People are working with you here. People are collaborating. They're helping you on a project here that you have going. The bottom of the deck is temperance. Patience, my love. Sagittarius energy. You have a divine partnership that's opening up to you here. Like I said, clear the air so that you can get rid of all the weeds so that you see the crystal clear path that's aligned for you here. It's being opened to you here. Ta-da! 
In a little while, you will not be single any longer. Four of Wands, number 1111. Surprise, somebody's coming in here. Somebody that is aligned to you, 1111. You're seeing number 1111 for, for many of you. This is a new home, Cancer. This is an energy of people are helping you, working with you to build a new structure, a new home. 444, we got, like I said, stability, success, structure, double new beginnings for you, my loves. You're coming up on the top of the wheel. Remember, you have Jupiter blessing you. So you have Jupiter somewhere aligned in your chart here. What a huge blessing. This is on your business. This is in love. It's a celebration that's coming in. I feel the energy of towards uh, the end of April, you will be in a very sweet environment within your home, your family. This is a double, double blessing. It's a new home for some of you here. Some of you could be getting a new home, purchasing a new home. On the 23rd of April, Mars in Cancer is what it really is important. That Mars energy, you're coming in strong from the beginning of April. You're not going to let anybody mess with your shit. You're taking charge here is what I feel with this energy of the, of the Aries Emperor. You're someone here who's very confident. You got the energy of clear thinking now. You're very intellectual. You're taking your power and your authority and you're telling it like it is. Okay. And you're moving on to something because... You know you just healed and recovered from a 10 year of a cycle. Could have been a partnership, a marriage, but you're moving on to something that is aligned for you in a partnership. So let's, I need a little more room. Let me get a little more room here. Thank you. Let's clarify. What was this in the past that was taking place here? Ace of Wands and the World card. You finished the cycle, you ended a marriage, like I said, you got a divorce, and Ace of Wands was, this was a new person, this person in the past, somebody here that stirred your emotions, so for cancer, yeah, in the past, let's see, what is that Ace of Wands in your past, lots of fire energy, yes, Page of uh, Wands, somebody here that you reached out to with a message here, you had a new beginning with this person. It was hot and spicy, Page of Wands. You and this person had a lot of fun. They could be the air sign that you were with, or this could be you with a strong air, King of Swords. There was something here that you, you put your foot down. You felt that there was a situation. Okay, you cut out a third party situation, or you felt that this person had a third party situation that they were in. So for some of you here, there was um, there was a family third party situation. For some of you here, their ex, there was ex problems. So you have like um, somebody's ex husband or ex wife here that that is very jealous of you. They gossip. There was gossipers. These are gossipers, okay? And you found out the truth, and there was there was a connection here where these people here were definitely against you in this connection. For some of you, see, like I said, there it is, Seven of Swords. They were betraying you. These people were deceptive. They were snakes, these people. This was people here that were lying, stealing, cheating. It was an energy to people around you here were gossiping behind your back here about you and this new relationship that you had here. So let's see your person in the past. Your person had to gain inner strength. They moved on, they relocated, is what I feel. There was an energy of inner strength, something here that was painful, and they moved forward. Leo energy, six of cups at the bottom of the deck. You had a lot of fond memories of this person, six of cups. This could be someone here that you were dating and going back and forth with. This person was the past kept returning is what I feel. Yeah, three of wands, definitely. Three, three, three in this, in this energy here. But like I said, there was a lot of deception around you. This was people in your friendship zone, to your community, family, internal conflict here. These people 
let's see. These people, the shadow side, yeah. They have a lot of karma. That's that devil card in the back there. See what I'm saying? These people were toxic. They were abusive in your connection. To whatever bring you happy, Cancer, they like to eat that up alive. You had somebody here that was very jealous of you. So the Emperor card, let's see. You're somebody here who's a father, a mother, four cups, okay? You're just not open to any kind of relationship. You're standing your ground, Emperor, you spoke. You're just not gonna open your heart to just anyone, okay? You're very focused energetically on creating stability in your life. So right now for some of you here, there's an offer here that you're feeling not interested about. It's giving you anxiety also, Nine of Swords. You could have sleepless nights thinking about something here that's on your mind. Nine of Swords is getting that clarity. That's that Mercury and Mars here that's coming in. Let Mars and Mercury come in and clear your path. Let them do all the work, Cancer because you're gonna be sitting pretty here in a brand new home, brand new job, brand new wheels. Whatever it is, you got brand spanking new. Like I said, you're, go, you're like, hmm. You're somebody here is the single man or the single lady. You're someone here who is a parent figure, okay? And you got your eyes set on only one person here. And this person here is single like you are. Okay, with the single lady is what I feel. And there's rushing in is what I feel. There's an energy. Rushing in to communicate. What is this King of Swords? King of Swords is five of pentacles. This is somebody here who's feeling very much in isolation. They're feeling insecure. They're worried. They have a financial loss for some of you here, this person around you. This could be... Um, a father figure, this could be a brother, it could be a family member, it could be anyone in your family here. Someone here is experiencing um, a loss in their finances. And that's what I heard too. I heard 10 of wands, yeah, somebody here has had it fed up, done. Somebody here could be cutting out somebody. This could be a family member around you, somebody here that's about to make an ending in a relationship. So somebody here, is definitely putting down the burdens and the stress, Ten of Wands, Cancer. Yeah, and Seven of Wands. Somebody is starting to take a stand for themselves in a situation and they're fighting for what they want, is what I feel. Seven of Wands. This is that somebody here that is in um, a, a bit of chaos right now. Somebody around you here is about to put the burdens down and move on and take a stand for herself and defend ourselves in something. There's a battle taking place with this King of Swords. So let's see what the Two of Pentacles is for the person coming towards you. Yeah, the tower, sudden. See, somebody suddenly is coming in. Four of Wands. To a theater near you. Now, this person could be suddenly coming to your home. This is something suddenly that makes you very happy, Cancer. It's a Sun card, Leo energy. So your person is coming in that's in alignment. So actually the tower is putting the two of you in alignment because the both of you here, I feel, are going back and forth. There's an energy here of knowing that the two of you here have a distance between you. There's definitely a distance, interference, some kind of block that's here that's been between the both of you here. You see how there's separation here? You see the two, two, two? Not really, I mean, I'm just saying it looks like it. The Four of Wands is divine in, divine, divine intervention that's coming in. This is two major arcanas with the sun card. Something very positive. Your person here has the ultimate love for you here. This is gonna shock you. It's gonna surprise you that they're coming in here. And your person wants partnership with you. There's somebody here that definitely wants to rebuild a very passionate, connection. This person here is attracted to you. They're they're taking the lead. Your person that's coming in, whether it's a man or a woman, they're hot and heavy, ready to go for it. They don't want to take charge. This person that's coming in. So you have King of Swords, the Emperor, and the King of Wands. Okay. 
Let's clarify. We have King of Wands twice. What's the Four of Pentacles? Why is it reversed? Two of Wands, Cancer. This is your energy. So right now, there's an energy here of... Financially, it's like an energy here of material things that are in your material world. You might have to make a sacrifice here. There's an energy here of conserving something because you got a plan that you want to make. Two of Wands is letting me know in the near future you will be making plans that bring in progress. There's an energy also for some of you, like I feel, someone here is far away from you. Two of Wands, this person could be across the waters. You see what I'm saying? There's mountains there. Somebody's at a distance from you. You could be in a situation where you're at one location and this person's at one, one location. And the problem is, is that both of you are hanging on to something in, in, in the 3D, like your home, your job, your career. And there's going to have to make a decision. Someone here is going to have to make a sacrifice, is what I feel. I feel because there's a lot of uh, tension, five of wands. This is causing disagreements between the both of you. This is what the arguments I feel is, not arguments, I feel that there's a discussion that's coming in where this energy is what's creating the resistance, is that you need to discuss and find a, yeah, and find a new perspective and then go for the star, shoot for it, nine of wands. Then you'll take the stand, Cancer, and fight for what you want because you're fired up now. You got all that Mars energy going on there, okay? What happens with fire and water when it gets boiled? It gets boiled. You're boiled up. You're boiling now. You're on fire. Like I said, you're going to go for it. You know, and look, can I not lie? Gemini, energy, and Taurus. You're dealing with somebody here. Either you have strong Gemini or Taurus in your chart, or you're dealing with somebody who is, because you have it um, twice here. This is how you will make future plans, and you will go for it. This is a partnership, a marriage. It's an energy of coming together in a, in a divine partnership, coming into union. There's an energy of definitely fighting for it. So you, many of you, Cancer, with this being in reverse, the Ten of Swords, you're recovering something here that ended. It was an inevitable ending, and you're repairing it, and you're rebuilding it. So this is someone from your past that is coming in to work with you on a partnership okay like i feel king of wands let's clarify this king of wands was coming in someone here was very stuck on you eight of swords somebody here that was feeling very restricted from you with the world card in reverse something is not completely over yet so that's what's coming in this person's about to take action with the world card there was an energy here of external forces were out of control and this is why they couldn't come towards you you april's energy is no coincidence there's never nothing that's a coincidence but there were forces against this connection that are now being opened you have the world card twice like i'm feeling and something is not over yet that's coming back in so what is the queen of swords what is the queen of swords somebody here yeah you got taurus libra and Aries. Someone wants the truth. They're coming towards you here to communicate. You have two people. This Queen of Swords could be a mother figure. It could be an ex-wife. It could be someone here, for some of you here, that you have a family, children with here. And this person here is coming in to like, in other words, they have, a, they have something to tell you about this person that's coming towards you. They don't like it, is what I feel. So someone that could be around you that's coming in to communicate with you about this decision that you're about to make. Queen of Swords. This person's coming towards you. They want the truth in the situation. I feel they're trusting their instincts. Some want your person's trusting in their instincts and they're making a move. They're getting ready to take action towards you. Now, if you see, for some of you, this person that you have that's coming in is your person. It's an alignment here of Venus and Mars energy. This is Aries, this is Taurus or Libra. I feel this is Venus aligning with Mars energy that you have and Mercury. 
a crystal clear answer of what direction cancer that you are going to go in. So that is, let's see this energy here. Now you and this person here with this queen of swords to the king of swords, this is somebody here. See how you're just looking forward and this woman just keeps coming at you here. It's like she's always got to put her two cents into your life, kind of an energy. Someone around you. And this could be an ex that you have, is what I feel. So now let's get some advice from the Finn D. I can't pronounce it yet clearly. Sickle and a Kipper. It means the end of a cycle. So this is the end of a cycle oracle. And I want to thank Anna from England, Gladys, or Glat, Gladys Berry. I have to learn how to pronounce these things, which I will. My dear, thank you for helping me to recognize what these cards were. So let's get some messages of this, what's going on. Tell me who, tell me about the emperor. Tell me who, for cancer, this emperor energy. Please clarify the emperor and clarify what we, yeah. Okay, lovers, again, 15. This is a divine union here, Cancer, is what I feel. This is a partnership that's coming in. It's a Gemini energy. There's someone here that you're coming into alignment with, it is what I feel. Okay. There was an ending here with you and this person in the past. This is someone here that is from your past past. Let's clarify one more. Yes. There's bad health here. I feel there's an energy here of somebody around you. This could be your energy that you experience bad health, or this could be somebody around you, somebody that you have dear to your heart here that is in bad health right now. Let's see what the King of Swords is. Who's this King of Swords? Show us what the King of Swords is. Too many. Sorry. One card, who's the King of Swords? Thank you, Cancer, all of you. I'm so grateful for all of you that follow through this video and that positive comments. Thank you so much. So the King of Swords is somebody here that could be a child or they could have children. This could be an adult child that you have that's here. And there's children here, distant horizons. Yeah, you and your person, number 36, you and your person live at a distance from each other. Is what I feel. Somebody here is definitely, for some of you, having, like I felt from the beginning, there's, there's some kind of conflict going on between a father, son, father, daughter, or mother, son, mother, daughter, something like this. And there's conflict taking place right now. Yeah, courtship. You and your person and sudden wealth. I'm so glad I came back out. This is cha-ching, cha-ching. 777 and a number 11 and number 4. You got five fours in this reading telling me that this is someone that you're going to build a strong foundation. Right now, your friends, very dear friends, you're courting. There's an energy here of sudden wealth coming in for you, Cancer. It's like you hit the jackpot with this person is what I feel. I feel that this is a very big decision that you're making because we have the four of wands here twice is what I feel with this energy. And there's something that's coming in here that I feel for you that you're making long-term plans. Right now you're getting rest and you're recovering, but you're getting ready here to make an investment community. Like I said, there's something going on within your community, your family, your home. Someone here, cancer, that could be in bad health, poor health. I feel, I feel somebody here has gone through a, a lot in a relationship. There's somebody, I mean, somebody's family member has something to do with a partnership here that is definitely on the rocks. And there's somebody here that is suffering over that in your family. So that's what I feel. Let me get a romance angel and some water cancer. 
Yeah, the last time you're reading, I named it Got Any Scotch because this was somebody that was heartbroken over you. Yeah, Cancer. Express your love. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture is what I feel. I feel you need to open up and come out of the shell and you need to break out of that shell and you need to express your love. You need to tell this person how you feel about them. There's an energy here of communication coming in with the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, a conversation. And if I feel that this is somebody here that did not know their self-worth, they did not know their values, unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep a relationship going here is what I feel. Separation. You've been separated from this partner here. So if you don't tell them that you love them, they'll never know it. They feel unloved. They feel abandonment issues here. They feel the energy that you don't love them, that you're coming in or you feel this way, that this person's just coming in as a player, somebody here that is not in it for um, long term. This person is. There is an energy. I feel the energy here, yeah. You all know it because nothing gets past you here. You got an energy of seven of swords, ten of swords, queen of swords. You're definitely cutting out this sneaky, devious energy here of somebody here that has um, the energy of air heavy in their chart. I feel Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I feel this is somebody here that you have an ex. This is your ex wife that you had children with. Some of you have a legal divorce from this one here. And this one here was trying to take away your happiness. Somebody here has, um, yeah. I feel the person you're connecting with here is somebody here that's single. Yeah, you got a past life connection here. You may have known this person in another life. You have known each other before, okay? There's a huge tie. This is a soul tie that you have with this person with the Gemini card here twice. The lovers. It's a divine partnership. Look at this union that's coming back in. And it says, love yourself first. You're more attractive. It says, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This person is so in love with you because they see the self-respect that you have in yourself that you're carrying right now. And they know that you're not playing around. They know that there's no games here. And this person loves you for that, Cancer, is what I feel. So that is what I have for you, Cancer, for April. It is a lovely month. This relationship that you have, it's a courtship right now. So go with the flow and uh, stay sweet. I love you bunches, Cancer. We'll see you soon.